surrounded right guns cops i it, it, you know yeah it, it, yeah it, it, okay. guns cops fences it looks like war there and it's, yeah yeah and very what it's supposed to look like yeah because one orange idiot won't just say i lost go home right, right? so it's mm -hmm. yeah so today what is this i can't even keep track of the craziness because they think march 4th was the original inauguration date because someone so-and-so was the last legitimate president and blah 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, they they changed it in okay. 1930s, right? 1830s. They believe so, they, they, Trump uh, will be yeah, sworn something. in today to replace Joe Biden. Which, uh, right? Oh, it was it was designated inauguration day until the 20th Amendment established the date as January 20th, and law enforcement. Okay, is uh, yeah, all right. yeah, okay. I think you were right the first time. The 1930s. I thought the 1930s yeah. it just seemed like that was awfully late. Right. Because don't they feel like the last... They are hedging their bets like most uh, of the Rapture crowd does by saying March 20th. Don't know what, how they're justifying that, but it might be March 20th also. If it's not today. You know, I have a perfectly no, like... good I have a perfectly good <laughs> Rapture helmet that I have never used, and I am Ex pissed. Exactly. Yeah, it's like Christians, you know, these far-right cultist Christians who right. say the rapture is coming, and then when it doesn't come, oh, well, they meant, you know, right. this day, you know, forward. It's, well, yeah, it was, it was based on. on the lunar calendar, but after, and it was hard to track. How, after Michigan, it's how cults operate. After Michigan and after, uh, you know, January 6th, I can see why you, they would take it seriously. Uh, Department of Homeland Security, FBI, sent intelligence bulletin to state and local agencies. This was late, right, uh, yesterday. Warning domestic groups have discussed plans to take control of the U.S. Capitol and remove Democratic lawmakers on or about March. Oh, remove. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Like take for a ride to the country, to Disneyland? What does that mean? Hmm. Does it involve the um, Thai guy? The bullet entitled "Violent Domestic Violent Extremists Were Emboldened by the January 6th Attack and Therefore Pose a, hover, a Higher Overall Threat. What do we, Malcolm Nance and others keep telling us? This is not over. This is ongoing. Yeah. We are in an ongoing coup. And this is yep. why these all of these people need to be held accountable, right? From Trump to Cruz and Hawley mm -hmm. on down. Um, uh, right. The law enforcement official says the bulletin makes clear the threat did not begin or end on January 6th. Um, so just ruined a perfectly good wacky radio stunt on top of it. All. Hold on. I was going well, to do, go do my that Jodie Foster in, in the panic room for the entire show. Just to be a flashlight. <laughs> That's kind of contact and kind of the Panic Room movie. What was the Panic Room movie's name? Is oh, that it? Panic the Panic Room. room? Oh, thank panic you, Sean. Room. Yeah. Thank panic you, room. Sean. Panic thank room. you. Okay. Shh, I'm in the Panic Room. I was just going to say that the whole. I can hear the Trumpers screaming. Mixed with a little Blair Witch. I can hear the Trumpers screaming. Yeah, I can do the. Hang on a second. I can do the. Hang on. I'll do the this. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh -huh. I can do snot coming out of my nose. I'm so scared. <laughs> kind, of, kind of Blair Bitch Project. Okay. All right. Well, you sure. know what? We'll yeah. save that for another day. <laughs> okay. We'll do okay. that. Yeah, we'll get right on that. I went with my liberal AF shirt. Why? Because can I have my cheap butter commercial music? We have a we welcome a new sexy liberal to the sexy liberal mm -hmm. family this morning. Kimberly Johnson joins with her fantastic podcast, Start Me Up, joins the Sexy Liberal Podcast Network. She will join us today in our number yes. two. Not it's she is not now. Yeah, she's not just Bob Seska's sex refrigerator sex partner. Stop objectifying her like that. That is my job. She is brilliant. She happens to be hot as AF, but brilliant and uh, hilarious in her own right. Smart, brilliant. Anyway, uh, it's our brand, man. It's our bag. Smart, funny. It is. Yes. She got the whole and deal. She, she was an actress on Days of Our Lives. I know because she's, as I mentioned, <laughs> hot AF. Okay. <laughs> All so right. you can go to your you can go to your podcast player now and subscribe to Start Me Up with Kimberly A. Johnson right now, or you can just check it out at sexyliberal.com. Yeah. By the way, I don't know mm -hmm. what the A is. She's got a nice A. That's all I'm saying. Oh, put geez. the A in the Kimberly A. What? Oh. What? Did I Cuomo her? What's happening? Oh, oh yeah, hey, he speaking of conspiracy theories, a lot of people are saying two of Trump's friends want to run for governor in right. 
New York so, so they can pardon him and his family, right? I'm just saying, I don't know. There's, there's, I'm just conspiratorial about coordinated attacks right now. Look at me. I'm already in my attic in my panic room. I really am. The panic room's right there. I'm this close. You don't tell people what the panic room is. Stephanie. Oh, no, did I screw that you up just already? did. You and just spoiled it. Oh, it's behind it's the book. It's, it's behind the book. Oh, oops. It's useless. Listen to the book carefully. We can actually do that. If I actually do, we do have to do the, I have to do the show from the panic room. I can have, that's how you get me out of there. Cause I can't get out. It's too heavy. Listen to me very carefully. Put the candle back. Oh, I have to install a candle. That's how you open it. I, did, I forgot that. I forgot. I don't have a way to open the panic room. It's too heavy. I can open it, but then I can't get back out. Doesn't do you much good then, you does thought, it? Yeah, you, you thought that one through. I didn't, I didn't think I'd need it. That had about as much planning as our fake War of the Worlds broadcast. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just, we just thought it might be a little too dangerous given the times. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, by the way, we just, we break news left and right because we have the most amazing guests in the world. We had Frank Laguzzi yesterday, MSNBC uh a security mm-hmm. analyst, obviously, yep. former FBI guy. So, uh, right, he and he sort of like said this on our show, but he on MSNBC yesterday, everybody's talking about it. They realized that mm-hmm. what I said. I just skip all the facts and evidence, but it's exactly what I said. I don't bother with the FBI training or the law degree. I just know stuff. But he said the same thing. The White House was involved with preventing the National Guard uh, defending the Capitol. Uh, yeah, let's just cut the. He ordered the code red. For God's sakes, this testimony was so damning yesterday, right? Yeah. But he said that was um, crazy. He said this is kind of a, a typical investigative approach. Start with the lower level people, keep moving your way up and getting uh, some truth. We're getting to the truth now as we work our way up the Pentagon side. This is falling squarely on the Pentagon in terms of a failure to prepare. Here's the next hard question we have to get to in the next level of hearing. Was this the mere, merely typical Pentagon bureauc- bureaucratic snafu? No. That it takes hours and days to get something figured out, maybe? Or is this evidence that there was political intervention, that the hand of the White House was involved in this? We're hearing word of optics playing into what this looked like if the Guard deployed. My gut's telling me there's more to this story. When you get to the Secretary of Defense saying, no, 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 I'm needing to ask the question, did the White House reach into the decision-making? Um, yeah, I feel like um, mm, Michael Flynn's brother might have some questions to answer at some point. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lawrence Tribe said Roger Stone and Mike Flynn increasingly looked like they could be criminally implicated in the January 6th insurrection that left five people dead and our constitutional democracy deeply wounded. And their pardons won't be of any use to them if they're prosecuted in that context. Oh, mm, that's, wait a minute, where's my, oh, there it is. Mm, mm. Yeah. Midas Touch, our friend, said Mike Flynn was openly calling for martial law while his brother was preventing the National Guard from mm-hmm. protecting the Capitol on January 6th. They both need to be investigated immediately. Uh, Sean, yeah. there are not enough drama stings this morning, is my point. Thank you. Uh, the, yeah, let's go right to it with uh, Senator uh, Senator Peters, <laughs> Gary Peters, talking to uh, the head mm-hmm. of the uh, National Guard, correct? So my question is, in June of 2020... As violence was escalating during the summer protest, were you able to immediately receive approval from the Secretary of the Army and the Secretary of Defense to deploy National Guard to assist law enforcement at that time? Senator Peters, I was. Yes, sir. Oh, my. It's so weird. What's the difference? What's the difference? I can't. Oh, melanin, perhaps. Melanin, those were. Yes. Black Lives Matter protesters. Okay, and then uh, number two. So you were immediately able to to uh, to receive approval in June of 20. From your testimony, I want to be clear. You were, were were you able to immediately receive approval from the Secretary of the Army and the Secretary of Defense to deploy the National Guard on January 6? No, sir. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry, you got to it first. <laughs> Do you like my looks to camera or whatever this is? Or to iPad in our case. <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, yes. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's very modern family or arrested development. Or it's dramatic. <laughs> yes. Pract- I've been practicing. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't... I, I understand the need for investigation or, you know. Whatever. <laughs> but, I mean, it is clear what happened here, right? 
three, three hours and 20 minutes it took the National Guard to get there while yeah. five people died. I mean, it's, uh, it, okay, I, I, it's, <clears throat> pardon me. And by the way, do they not, <coughs> pardon me, pardon me while I cough, choke to death on my own spit. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. Send Jamie for help. Send Jamie for help, Sean. <laughs> yeah. It must be that, that, you, that you horked up, up for, 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 the, for the Blair Witch Project thing. <laughs> I did. I, <laughs> um, no, are they just not going to get ever Republicans? What a grifter Donald Trump is and always has been. He, I, they jacked the rates at Trump International Hotel for last night and tonight, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he's rooting <laughs> for more violence. He's encouraging it with his CPAC. Like Bob Seska said yesterday who is just Kimberly Johnson's eye candy at this point, but okay. My point is he said it's like when bin Laden used to release a tape every now and again, right? After 9-11, he just, so this grifter jacked the rates going, ooh, yeah, might be March 4th, I'll be reinstalled, right? When he's on stage at CPAC, he goes, the best way to give to our great cause, DonaldTrump.com. Right? It's like none of the money's yeah. going to you. He's not going to help Republicans. He's going to run against Republicans he doesn't like. He's going to use the money to undermine Republicans. I mean, it's just, it's so mm-hmm. insane mm-hmm. that they, okay, that they just keep, I mean, it, or, or his pack. It's going to him. Like, stop the steal. That money didn't go to, there wasn't any steal. It went to him. Don't you, how, yeah, I right. just don't know how long it's going to take yeah. for them to get it. Okay. Uh, he, oh, uh, he's a giant grifter. We'll okay. never get it. Can I just say he still haunts my dreams? You know, like I need a little, mommy needs a little rom-com to go to sleep to after the news. I need a, like a little, anything okay. that Julia Roberts or Sandra Bullock, even if I've seen it before, that's all I need is just yeah. a little. So I was so excited last night. I found a Sandra Bullock movie by accident I've never seen before with Hugh Grant bonus. Two weeks notice. Guess who appears okay. in it? I remember that. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> he plays a New York real estate mogul and Oh, gee. Hugh Grant does. And Donald Trump appears oh. in the movie. I was, of course he does. I was like, oh. This... <laughs> I don't know how old the movie is. And I was like, no. He he will forever be Glenn Close in the bathtub. And Ann Archer, like, I don't know, missed her bus or something. It's just, no. <laughs> okay. Or something. Detained her. Something detained Ann Archer so she is unable to help me in the I, bathroom. I don't think... Donald Trump would fit in a bathtub. No, well, the 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 Taft one didn't he use the Taft the yeah. William Taft bathtub. Like they had to bring that back there. <laughs> That'd be funny. The other thing they didn't tell us is it took him like the jaws of life and hours to get him out of there the last day. Just, just... they need a crane. Okay. All yeah. right. Oh, did I mention uh... that? Um, pretty much. Um, I don't know. Everyone in the Trump administration and Republicans in general are giant crooks and grifters as well. Did I mention that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, wow, Elaine Chow. Holy, I don't, she, I don't oh, think, she, I don't think she's going to be able to hide in Mitch's shell forever. Um, yeah, I mean, should be prosecuted. And I know they're going to yeah. go, this looks political. I, the DOJ absolutely should put her, Zinke, Azar. They were all referred for criminal referrals. And, of course, Bill Barr yeah. just made everything go away. We, You can't just let this be the precedent. Right. Okay, but I just, two in the coronavirus stack. Uh, Where is this one? Ron DeSantis. Wealthy community got COVID vaccine before anyone else. uh, And then the governor got a $250,000 campaign contribution. A wealthy enclave of DeSantis supporters Mm -hmm. got vaccinated Mm -hmm. in Jan. Okay. Um, Republican, Christy Nome. I know, don't start with me. Republican governor's coronavirus grant gave $600,000 to her family's ranch. The coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And they're in Congress pulling all kinds of stunts to stop normal people from getting coronavirus relief and vaccines. Right? Well, Ron DeSantis is making Mm -hmm. sure his wealthy donors get the vaccine. And Christy Nome is making sure her family gets COVID money. They're all a bunch of crooks and grifters. And then Ron Johnson's going to do this Mm -hmm. stunt today where he makes the parliamentary... what is the point of this? I'm trying to slow this down when people are so in need of help. I mean, I swear to God, like Texas, Mississippi, it's like they're just freaked out about how well Joe Biden's go- doing. Oh, we got to yeah. slow this down and we got to, uh, yeah. because people are going to get it's, vaccinated. People are going to get help from the COVID yeah. relief bill. And, the, you know, it, it's it's to troll the libs. Yeah. Well, they're trolling. But it's hurting their own people. This. Well, exactly. But they don't care as long as they look good on talk radio. 
then that's What's all they the care about. What's the point of slowing down the COVID bill for be, a, a few hours? What do we keep saying? They're performance artists. Marjorie Taylor Greene yeah. voted three times to adjourn the, the House in this stunt for, right. I don't know, until Republicans got pissed and said, stop it. They're just performance artists. They're not, okay. Right, but, but that's the sort of thing that resonates with their talk radio base. Well, now I'm sorry I didn't do the wacky war of the worlds. Trump was just installed as president broadcast. Everybody. Maybe we'll do a little practice moment when we come back. Okay, 22 minutes. Oh, and we got Dr. Doom okay, and Dana Goldberg and Char oh. Carl Frisch.